guys, um, I'm back with another video and this is going to be our gear haul or gear tour or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so this is just all of our gear we have currently. We do have a few more things coming in the mail, but it's not going to be many. I'll probably film an updated video when that comes. Alright, so I'm going to start off with collars. I'm saving vests and harnesses for last because I know those are the most interesting things and that's usually what people will stay for. Alright. So starting off with our collars, we have just our two light up collars. So these we use whenever it's dark out. This one is just a blue flashy. It has the flash setting, the slow flash, and our steady. And I use that for him whenever like we're doing nighttime walks or whenever we're doing an outing that's gonna involve him being, you know, left where there is the chance of something happening. He is a black dog, so it is better to have him marked. And then we also have our white one, and this one's just a white light instead of the blue. So it's just kind of a matter of which one we feel like using at the time. Then we have Aries' first collar. When I got him, he was already pretty big. So this is just from Target. It's just yellow and gray. It's reflective, and it was really nice for the time, but now he currently has a different collar. Um, we then have our e-collar. This is just the pet trainer one because we found that that's the one that I preferred for him. Um, recently he doesn't really react to it, so we really don't use it that often anymore, but it's there if we need it. We then have our prong collar. Uh, I promise this isn't like hostile or mean towards the dog. He, this is what we found that he reacts to best for a training tool. And it's just like a little pinch as though it's a correction from an older dog on his neck. Um, it works for a heel or just quick correction whenever you're training. And then now I just use it for him because I want to be able to have that communication if anything happens. He is fully trained. It's not, you know, he can work without it, but it's kind of a band-aid in case we do need it. Um, we then have our leather collar. I don't remember where I got this from. I believe I got it from a Facebook group and I don't know what brand it is. Uh, I like this whenever he's wearing one of his leather harnesses or whenever I just want something that looks a bit nicer on him. Um, this one is not really a collar. It's more of a training tool, but it's our head halty. I rarely ever use this. He doesn't like the feeling of it on him, but if we are going to a high stress environment where I know I'm gonna have to correct him, or I know there is the chance of him sniffing and everything, I do like to have it just for safety. He doesn't ever need it. He is fully trained and we really, it's just a leave it and he's good, but it's a just in case thing. Um, next we have our leashes. I have, first is our traffic lead. I just made this out of paracord. It's not the best. It wouldn't work if you were pulling, but he doesn't, Cool. He can work off leash if I want him to. So this is just a teal and black traffic lead. I believe it's a foot long. Um, we then have our everyday leash. This is a hands-free. It's leather. I got it off of Amazon and I don't believe they sell it anymore. Uh, we also have our one of our patients in love leash straps. This is just medical alert. It's teal and black. Um, that's about it. I believe it's 6.5 feet. Then we have our newer leash. I really don't use this one because I don't like how long it is. I didn't realize how long it was when I got it. It's just a black leather leash and, well, leather hands-free. And I believe this one's seven feet or a little bit over. Um, I'm gonna use it if, this, if something ever happens to my good leather leash that I love, or if I do want something to keep him on that's longer or if I'm working with a shorter dog. Okay, um, we then have Oh, I forgot, or Martingale. This one is just kind of a check Martingale collar. I rarely ever use this one. I believe I've used it twice on him, if that. And it's kind of, as I said, just a precautionary. Had it when we first got him for training purposes. Um, we then have our treat pouch. This is just one from Amazon. It's the Pedak one. It has a peat bag holder in the back that I really do like a lot and a drawstring. I just usually leave it open. It has the waistband, belt clip, and it also has an over-the-shoulder band attachment. It has two pockets. I like to use this front pocket right here for my 88 law cards. 
so that if I ever need him, I have him on me because if he's with me or if I'm working with another dog, then I have my treat pouch, no matter what. Um, we then have our first collapsible bowl. This one is actually Belle's when she was working. So this is just a little pink one. I used it for her when she was at school, just for quick water or whenever she needed food. Um, we then have our bigger Kurgo bowl. It's red, it's huge. If that's a lot of water and this is going to come in handy for whenever we're out at college and there's lots of walkings or summer outings and he needs the water or if I need to feed him because he does eat quite a bit of food because he's a huge dog. Um, we then have our raincoat. This is an extra large one. It's from PetSmart and I found that this works perfectly fine. I don't need it. You know, we don't need one of the expensive ones. It's just blue with like bones all over it. And I believe the green ones are reflective. Don't quote me on that though. All right, uh, we then have our boots. These are just from Amazon. I don't remember exactly what brand. He's in a size six for these. Um, and they're just for whenever he's walking on hot pavement, I wanna protect his paws. So there's not a chance of him burning them or whenever it's cold out. Uh, and they like need to salt pavement. That really doesn't happen here in Texas, but that is a precautionary in case we were to ever go up north or whenever there's a chance of like broken glass or him cutting his paw or anything, it comes in handy, especially on a college campus because college kids can be wild. All right, um, we then have just the NutriVet pad guard wax. So this I use whenever it's not hot enough for boots, but it's too hot for him to have nothing on. And it's just kind of a protective layer that goes on his paws and it protects from the heat. So just a safety precaution. All right, up next I just have a couple of our bandanas. I really don't, I have more than this. I don't have all of them with me though. This is just our Christmas one or like winter, it's red with snowflakes. I actually made this for Belle and then it's gone on to him because they surprisingly wear about the same size. Um, we then have the Beauty and the Beast one. This one is Belle's still. I haven't put it on him, but it's Belle's namesake and I'm not willing to like get rid of it or anything and there's nothing wrong with having a retired service dog wear a bandana out. Um, then our Halloween one. This one's just pumpkins and it's cute. I love it a lot. It was made for Belle again. I do have a few that I'm making currently for him. I made all of these and I actually have my own shop that I make bandanas for and love it. All right, so up next we have our leash wraps. Most of these are patience and love, but we do have a few, this one that's not, and I don't actually know what brand it is. It's just this one, it's a stop, do not distract. The stop signs are teal and then it has gold writing. It's really dirty because it's white and I don't actually have any other white band or leash wraps because I'm not willing to run those because I'm getting dirty. I have washed this like three or four times and the dirt's not coming out. All right, up next we have our other medical alert. This is just a lavender and black medical alert is the same on the other side and I've just found I really like him as a quick marker in case I don't want him in a vest or a harness because of the heat or just want it, or doing a quick run into a store it gets the point across and it's quick and easy all right we then have our stop no touch no talk no eye contact leash wrap this is a uh, black with burgundy and mint this actually matches a harness that we're gonna have coming that's not here yet as well as a harness that is here um, and it's kind of a professional look rather than a, you know, fun like most of his gear. I would then have our $2 to pet me. This is just black with red. It matches quite a few of our other setups that you'll see later. And I love it for a college campus. It's the exact same on the other side. And then this is the I don't pet you while you're working. This is actually in our school colors, so Sam Houston. Um, and I actually have a whole set that's going to be like I'm in the process of making it. Um, it's a orange cape and I'll actually show that later on when it's done. All right, up next I'm gonna go ahead and do patches. Just a fair warning, we do have a lot of these, so I guess get comfy. All right, so our first one is, uh, it says it's a crime to distract me. It's just a shield, it's wet, black and white. This one is service dog, no touch, no talk, no eye contact. This one I believe is from Creative Claim on Etsy. Um, this one just says service dog with the symbol, so no touch, no talk, no eye contact, and this one's no pictures right here. Um, I don't know who made that one. All right, this one is a bit snarky, so please pardon my language, it's those questions, so I can Google it. Um, this one I wanted for a campus. I don't know who made it. I believe I got it 
from somebody on Facebook, as well as the shield one and the pictures. And then there's a few other ones that I got from her. Um, this one says disabilities suck. I got this from So What Co on Instagram. This one says, why have a doctor when strangers can diagnose you with only their eyes? It's just red with gray. I don't know who made that one. All right, this is, it's a beautiful day to save lives. It's black with lavender. Then we are a team forever. This one is red with black and gold. All right, this says, I fight her titans. It's gray and black. This one says, not training. I work for her with a paw print. It's black with uh, teal, light blue. It says, this one says, it's rude to stare. I'm not here for your entertainment. It's, bl it's blue with a purple. All right, this one just is a POTS because one of my disabilities is POTS. It's a heart condition. Summing it up, I mean, that's more than that, but that's an easy explanation. I'll get into that in more depth in another video eventually. This one is says, it says service dog. It's teal with black and white. And this is also from So What Co on Instagram. This one is just service dog. It's one of the vinyl ones off of uh, Amazon. This one says multi-purpose service dog. Do not interact with a stop sign. I don't know who made this, but I do love it because it's absolutely huge and it really gets the point across. All right, this one says I'm cute, but working access required by law. It's also from So What Co. This one is a huge no touch. I don't know who made this one, but I love it. All right, this one is a please don't pet me, I'm working. I believe this one's from Amazon as well, but I did get it from somebody on um, Facebook from one of the groups there. This one is just a no pictures. This is from So What Co. And this one is just a purple stop sign. It just says stop. And this is from a group on Facebook as well. Um, up next, I'm gonna do our capes and then harnesses and then vests. So this is a Mylas Holland gear cape. It's all Velcro with blue, with blue lining and a strap. I got this second hand from a Facebook group as well. Um, this one is our blue cape. I actually made this one. It has Velcro on it. This was his first cape that I made just so that I had something to mark him when he went to school with his harness on. This is our Ravenclaw cape. I made this for Belle for our Disney trip. Well, Universal Disney, it was both. It has patches sewn on. This one just says, not all disabilities are visible. This one is service dog, do not separate dog from handler. This is just a Ravenclaw patch. And then this one is do not pet, stop, do not distract. All right, we do have some more capes in the making and I'll show those eventually. All right, up next we have our harnesses. So this is our biothane harness. It's from Bitches and Biothane on Instagram. I don't know if she's still doing custom orders, but I did get it in when I could. Aries absolutely loves this one. I absolutely love this one. I usually put a leash strap just on the front to keep it marked, and it's great for a te the Texas heat because it's barely any uh, coverage and gear on him, and it keeps him really, like, it keeps him marked. Um, this is our Yup harness. This is just one of the cheap ones that they have that I absolutely adore. It has the handle for guide work if he ever needs it or counterbalance. Um, Aries does not do mobility yet, he's not old enough, but once he is cleared, he will be performing quite a few different mobility tasks for me. The most he does currently is retrievals and light, light, light guide work, and that was cleared by the vet. They said it was okay. Alright, and this one's just a brown, yup. Um, this one is our Bridgeport harness. I don't use this with him at all. This is leftover from Belle. They're the same size, so I'm not going to resell it. But once he is cleared, he will be doing brace work for me as well as guide work, which is where this comes in handy, and forward momentum, as well as a few other ones. This is just a size small, and it's their single strap nylon with leather uh, harness, and it's got the real sheepskin. I absolutely adore our Bridgeport over our Yup, actually, but I use both all the time. All right, this is just our fleece white front. This is burgundy with black. Um, I don't know who made this off the top of my head. I know she has a shop on Etsy and I'll link it down below when I, like, if I can find it, but I actually got this on a trade for a cape I made as well as some patches and a bandana and a couple other things. 
I absolutely love this. It has the handle that I want eventually whenever he is cleared for mobility. It also has just, it's a nice way to attach a cape and use it for marking him as well as for Texas summer heat because Texas is hot. All right, up next we have our vest. A couple of these I am in the process of repairing because why Ares was in the puppy chew stage, he did decide to chew a couple of buckles and I just haven't gotten around to repairing them. Um, our first one, we have our One Tigress Apollo 09. So this is actually a, cape, a vest with the cape attachments. This front strap comes off and then it attaches to our yup or our fleece uh, mobility, our fleece harness currently. Um, I do have another fleece harness that it is going to be able to attach to. The Bridgeport D-rings are actually quite a bit closer together than most other harnesses, so the capes don't work for those. Um, on here we do have a couple of patches. This is our stop, no touch, no talk, please ignore me, and I believe you can find this on Amazon. I use the ID holder, I actually just put ADA cards in so that it's easy to find since there is no legal ID that's recognized by the United States, but if we were to ever, you know, travel out of country, so to like... Canada where they do require one that way I can get everything figured out for that um, this one is just a do not separate dog and handler this is a symbols no touch no talk no pictures and this says ignore me stop don't distract on this side I just have service dog do not pet not all disabilities are visible and then in pockets I put extra poop bags I actually keep two rolls in here and hand sanitizer that's just one of the Bath and Body Works ones and then on the other side, I'll usually put my emergency meds, but I don't have them in there because he didn't wear this on our last outing. Um, our next one is our, another tactical. I got this from somebody on Facebook. It has three patches that come on it, but I don't have those with me currently. And I absolutely love this. It's mesh on the side, so it's nice and breathable. And it's got a full Velcro back. All of the pouches have Velcro on it so that it can attach, and it has extremely sturdy, like, metal D-rings to attach things to. I love this. I love how it looks on him, and I love just being able to slap it on him if I need to, but, and he loves it, which is most important to me. Up next, we do have our Angel Paws uh, Essentials on Instagram Best. We are a model for them, so we do have quite a few vests from them. I think we actually only have two from them currently, and then we're in the process of getting another one. This one has pockets attached to it on both sides, and then it has patches that I sewed on. So this one says, service dog, if handler is down, do not separate. This says, asking about a disability is rude, and this one just says, medical alert. All right, up next we have our Patience and Love vest. I'm absolutely in love with this one, and eventually I do plan on getting another custom one that's going to be a different style, but this one just says multi-purpose service dog. Do not interact with a stop sign. It has the pockets on it, and it's just a butterfly. I did a 15-inch panel because that's what most of his other vests are, and I love how it looks on him, even though he is a huge dog, but it keeps him marked. It's nice and easy. This is our Lifeline vest. This is the one that I'm currently in the process of repairing. The buckles are a bit chewed by him. Um, I absolutely love this since mo uh, most of his tasks actually revolve around my pots. So that's the cardiac alert and response. Um, I am putting patches on this. This one doesn't have pockets, which I do wish it did, but that's the only thing I'd change. It has D-rings so, though, which I'm planning on making a med pouch so that I can attach whatever he needs to carry for me to that. And then our last vest that I'm in love with, this is actually my favorite vest on him, but it's not his favorite vest, so I just kind of put whatever he's most comfortable in or whatever I feel like putting on him at the time, and he works in anything. So this is just our other Angel Paw Essentials vest. This is a lavender color, and it has custom patches from Patchwork and Paws, I believe, or it was Paracord Possibilities. I'm not sure I'll link it down below when I figure it out but this one has pockets as well it's the heart shape um, it has pockets on both sides and this was completely custom made for him so this has the custom patches this one says pots is tacky it's teal with lavender this one says dysautonomia service dog please don't interact with me her life rests in my paws and it has the the lifeline mark with a paw print here and the heart here and then this one standing says when standing i may faint medical alert service dog 
and this one has the lifeline with a heart and that's what the faint was made into um all right so that's it for all of our gear um do you have a few more things coming i have another fleece artist from fuzzy service dog gear on instagram as well as a couple of things that i won in two giveaways so i will have to do